In this uh, quick demonstration of DMU markup, in this case we have a particular sheet metal plate. We want to go, go, go ahead and go to a file new. In the file new, under the DMU tab, if we select design review, we can go ahead and access the DMU markup um, functions. So all these commands are there, so we want to go ahead and get it to the proper orientation. We want to create a new markup. In this case, we want to call it the uh, mounting. So that these are the mounting faces to uh, to the frame of the vehicle. So in this case, we want to go ahead and just use the text. We want to say these are the uh, mounting surfaces of the um, uh, for the weldment. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to select the weldment. Once that is um, those uh, faces are selected, we just need to select the um, text location. So we can put the text at the proper location first. We want to come back into the uh, terminating object. So we want to grab onto those same faces where we're going to uh, mount it to the frame with the welds and such. So once that is done, we're going to select OK. Now be very careful. If we rotate the text, what that does is we're no longer getting the proper orientation of this particular markup. So even though we have a proper text exists under there, if we add another element, that will, uh, we will not be able to see the geometry. So let's go ahead and do try that. So we want to go ahead and just create, um, in this case, we want to say protect this particular tab, for example. And we want to go ahead and change that from text to a freehand. We want to go to select region. Notice that we're going to select region. It should display a elliptical or ellipse uh, shape, but in this case, um, that we don't see that. And that's okay. Um, do not worry. Uh, it will come back to that. We'll come back and create another uh, markup uh, view of that, and then we'll again switch back, and that uh, uh, shape will uh, once again dis uh, appear. So now, once that is done, we want to create a front view. So we'll just go ahead and we're just going to call this a, a front of this. So once that is done, so now we we'll want to, uh, we can say, we'll go back to the other one. Notice that our ellipse uh, uh, geometry is there now. So then we can uh, go ahead and uh, make something of that uh, for uh, protecting that tab. Okay. Um, likewise, now let's go ahead and go to uh, top view orientation. So now we want to create another one. Um, we're going to say the whole size. So these whole size are the same. Um, so we want to make sure that, uh, so in this case, we want to say same whole size. Um, so now we want to go ahead, place the text, and select the object in this case. We want to select that uh, particular arc and uh, of those two arcs once that is done and then uh, we can put that so that is done so we have a third markup uh, view of that and then uh, we can jump back and forth from each one of those make one of those uh, be active and then we can uh, see that let's go ahead uh, add another element to this so in this case we want to draw something let's try to do our best to draw a rectangle sure enough the markup uh, to see that, uh, we want to say that, hey, these are the pattern, pattern uh, holes or pattern shapes. So we want to go ahead and add that. And uh, we want to select to those uh, geometries. So once that geometry is selected, OK. And then once we select OK, and then as we switch between different views, when we come back to that, we'll see that that is our pattern shape. This concludes our uh, quick demonstration for DMU markup.